OK. Um, so in this example, ladies and gentlemen, we have a binomial expanded. And, but rather than doing the whole expansion, this problem is just asking us to evaluate the third term. OK? So again, what we can do is to remember at least how, like, as far as the first, second, and third terms, or at least kind of go from there. So let's go ahead and find the first term, which would be 2x raised to the first power, and then negative 3y raised to the 0 power. Right? That's the first term. And then we could plus, because again, guys, remember this could be written as a positive negative. Right? That's why it's negative. And then also notice, notice how I use parentheses. I'm not just putting x to the fifth power. I'm putting 2x to the fifth power. Right? That's another very common mistake. But that's the first term. We're not worried about the first term. Um, we're trying to find the third term. So the second term is going to go in descending powers for the first term. And the second term is going to go in descending powers. So that'd be 1. But again, guys, that's the second term. We're trying to find the third term, which is 2x cubed times negative 3y squared. Right? So this is our term. However, there's one last thing that this little method that I do does not tell us about the coefficients. To understand the coefficients, we looked at Pascal's triangle. So we're just going to go ahead and create a nice little setup for Pascal's triangle. And then we're always going to start each row with 1 so we can remember it. And then we're just going to add um, the two terms in the row to get to the next row. So that's going to be 3, 3, 1. Remember, guys, this is a binomial squared. This is a binomial cubed. This would be the expansion of a binomial to the fourth. That's going to be 1, 4, 6, 4, 1. And then the binomial expanded to the 5 is going to be 1, 5. Again, that's where I'm getting these numbers. 1 plus 4 is 5. And then 10. And I can stop right here because that would be the third term. So all I'm going to do then is multiply, make sure I add a 10 times that term. And that's going to be your coefficient of the term. Now, that is technically the correct answer. But if we we're looking in as far as our answer, we're going to want to get it simplified. So let's simplify 2x cubed. 2x cubed is 2x cubed, or 2x times 2x times 2x, which would be 8x cubed. Negative 3y squared is negative 3y times negative 3y, which is going to be a positive 9y squared. And then I can just multiply the 8 times 9, which is 72, times 10, which would be 720 x cubed y squared. Right? Easy peasy microwave pizza. Yeah. 